What's up guys, let's talk about picks today. There's three types of picks. Um, and if you're just brand new to guitar, this is a great video for you. And you may be confused why there's so many different picks, why there's so many different sizes of picks, why there's so many different materials. Uh, what does thin, medium, and heavy really mean? Um, uh, what should you use more or less when you first start? Um, and that, that all comes with time, but I want this video just to be a good introduction to picks and how you can uh, really just take this information, go to a guitar store and then find a pick that works for you. Um, but let's start off with uh, the thin picks here. This is a thin pick right here. Um, there's less material on it so it makes it more uh, more flabby and this this helps when it comes to just playing uh, chords extremely fast. Like. It's like, uh, it's like butter just going through a chord more or less. Um, there's not a lot of resistance there, it's just... Um, I would highly suggest this pick if you are really into uh, maybe country or bluegrass or any type of folk music uh, that just only involves chords and that's really all you're interested in. Um, these type of picks are kind of difficult to play with when it comes to riffing for hard rock and metal as well as soloing. Um, I know there's a lot of people that like the, the extra give that a thin pick gives you when it comes to soloing so you can dig super deep with it but I've never found it to be super solid. Um, I would suggest going to buy one of these picks if you've never used one just to try it out and uh, give it a go you know because when it comes down to picks it's more or less about style and personal preference and what's going to work for you because uh, if you're a rhythm player in a, in, a, <laughs> in a polka band or something you're going to be playing totally different from a shredder you know um, but the second pick I want to get to is the medium pick. Uh, the medium pick is probably the most common pick uh, there is because it does everything pretty much well. It's a very well rounded pick um, it's good for chords, you know. You can do chords with it, uh, and it, it it doesn't play as buttery as the thin pick does when it comes to uh, just just playing through chords. You may want to play a bit more lighter, I guess, if you want that that kind of feel. But you can also play wrist with it. It's more solid than the the thin pick, so you can play. <laughs> It's not going to move as much. Uh, you can even play metal. Uh, all around great pick. Uh, it's just, if you're going to play very uh, technical things, it can get, it has a lot of give to it. Um, I, would I would say it's more or less a good blues pick because you can dig very deep when it comes to playing especially solos. Yeah, you can really get in there, uh, really get into the box here and just really um, hit a lot of pinch harmonics and uh, really just make things scream <laughs> with a medium pick. Um, and lastly, I want to talk about is the, the the heavy pick. The heavy pick is awesome for very technical things. It's good for uh, soloing. It's good for metal rhythm. It's good for riffs as well. Uh, you can even play chords with it, but you have to be a bit more uh, cautious with it so you don't break a string. Um, but. Overall, it's great because it doesn't move. It's it has very very little give. And one thing you'll notice with uh, thin, medium, and heavy picks is that uh, every corporation that makes picks has their own kind of variety on, or their own definition of what is heavy, thin, and uh, medium. Uh, as you can notice, this Fender pick right here is slight has a slight more give than this uh, Dunlop pick right here. And this one's probably the the elephant gun of picks, it's uh, heavy, heavy duty more or less. But they're cool because you can play metal, like tight metal stuff. Uh, you can play 
solos as well. Well, just all around a great pick. <laughs> I suggest picking up a lot of heavy picks. Uh, but sometimes they have hybrids as well. Um, this is a medium pick, and uh, this is a different material. And uh, it, when it comes down to picks, I would suggest going to a guitar store and buying as many different varieties and many different um, types of picks you can and then just seeing what works for you. Uh, I originally bought this pick because uh, Eddie Van Halen was really into the nylon, uh, the nylon picks and um, I, I thought, eh, you know what, I'll, I'll just pick a, a couple of them. These are cheap, you know, cheap as all hell. And so I tried them out and they're very, uh, very buttery feeling. And when I say buttery, I mean like, it's very smooth. It's very, uh, uh, there's, it, there's not a lot of thinking involved and it, there's not a lot of friction more or less. <laughs> And then I have this triangle pick. <laughs> this has always been an oddity to me when I when I came to. Oh, I guess my camera's dying. Anyway, this is the triangle pick here. Uh, this has always been a very strange oddity to me when I visited any music store because I always thought they looked really cool, but in uh, performance they're very difficult to play with. Uh, the only people I've seen that have been able to pull this off are bass players, um, but who knows, maybe you may be the only guitarist out there that can pull this off, the triangle pick. You should go out and pick one up and see if you like it or not. And then lastly, we have, uh, I have a pick here with a hole in it, and one of the, the most common things <clears throat> guitarists have when they first start is their pick is constantly falling out, like they're playing and their pick is moving while they're playing and they have a hard time just keeping it held more or less but this these type of picks have the have a hole in it which gives you extra texture so you can hold on to the pick better also some picks have like a, a baby powder on it uh, these seem to wear off on me over time uh, I never repowder them uh, you may want to go to Walmart or something like that and uh, you just buy some talcum powder and throw them on your picks if, if it's really uh, a thing you're into, more or less. Just go to your guitar store, your music store, and uh, buy a whole crap ton of picks. There's usually, almost every music store I've ever been to has had like a big jar of picks on their front desk that are super, super cheap. Um, just get a handful of those and then uh, throw them in a bag or something and buy those and then see what, what will work and what doesn't work, especially if you're a beginner. And uh, if you have a little more cash, go out and buy uh, some of the more brand name type picks. Uh, and then really, as you progress as a musician, you will find what works for you and what doesn't work. Uh, I found uh, the, these Gator Grips, these green ones, I've been using these for like <laughs> 10 years more or less just because I find them to be the the most easy to play with um, for me and lately I've been using these black ones uh, and I highly suggest these especially for a hard rock metal player um, these things these things are a tank you know they they will not be destroyed um, they may be lost but they won't be destroyed you know uh, but one thing that's great about heavy picks too is that um, you'll notice the more you play with picks the more they'll start to uh, really shape themselves out. Uh, you'll, you'll start losing shape on the pick and you'll see um, I don't know if I have any picks here that have that but you'll, they'll start losing their shape. They'll start like more or less corrupting themselves and the heavy picks uh, don't do that as much and 
these things will be around after uh, the earth is destroyed, you know. <laughs> but uh, if you got anything out of this video, uh, leave a like um, or a comment or subscribe. Uh, thank you.